Okay, my friends, this, this is really getting serious now. They're up on Mars, and they have the rover up there, the, um, the Perseverance rover. And here's where I come in. What they're doing now, they have cameras and so forth, and they're going to be getting samples. Now, they're looking at the rocks that are up there, and then they have this camera somewhere down there. I thought I have it. Oh, here it is. Okay. New camera to record sample collections. So they're going to be collecting them. Now, the cache cam, single camera, looks down at the top of the sample cache. It takes pictures of the sampled materials and the sample tubes as they are being prepared for sealing and caching. This helps scientists watch over the samples as they are being obtained and keeps a record. I want to watch this because I'm going to show you right now. I understand what these rocks are. These are little tiny pebbles. They're I don't, I don't know how big they are, but I'm looking at things, and they, they, they're just grabbing scraps of things. Let me show you something. Right up here is in my microscope, and this is what they have. They have the same sort of microscope. This is a, a telescopic type mi microscope. I can. You see what you're looking at here? You see that red? You see that black? That's blood. You see these holes? That's because those are alveoli. This is a lung. Lungs change the blood from red to black. Well, it's red to, it's oxygenated to deoxygenated, or you know, back and forth. That's how you respirate, and that is what's going on here. It's 100 percent certain, and it's a tiny lung. I mean, it's tinier than your thumbnail. And I'm going to show you that right now. This is my microscope, and you see how I can come up and go down, go way up here with it, and go way down with it, and look inside these little crevices and things. They have the same thing. And I'm looking, I could, I could see what I'm seeing, and I want to be able to tell them, I want to see that rock, I want to see this rock, I'd love to see that rock. In the White House right now, they have a lung on display from the moon. Okay, this is exactly what we need, which is this x-ray fluoroscope that, to identify the chemical elements in a target so small as a grain of table salt. And they also can see the image at the same time, like that tiny lung, and we can see those alveoli, and we can see that it is made out of ferrous oxides. One of them will be the magnetite, one will be the hematite, two different types of, of oxygen levels, oxides. This is what I need. Okay, my friends, there is the uh, President Biden asked for the moon rock at the, to be a display at the White House. Well, I have one here, basically the same rock. I could display it right here. And it, this is a lung, and it is loaded with blood. And I will show the blood in the microscope. All right, I say that is a lung, and don't forget, now that's the lung that we were looking at here. Now let me point down here where that lung came from, right there. <laughs> That's where that lung is, right inside this microscope. Now, let me get out the microscope out of the way, and here is that lung. It's this small. It's that small. You see that? And there's blood and all these things in there. I don't know if you can see that without any good light. Hold on. That's that little lung. And trust me, I know what I'm talking about. That's a lung. And you get any specialist that knows what they're talking about, they'll say it too. And I have a bunch of other lungs here. And uh, I have some that were, D well, I have one that was DNA certified. And of course, I have this one here that is a lung. And I can show that's quite obviously a lung. Anybody that's an anatomist will look at that and say, yeah, Roger, you're right. That's a lung. That's a lung. Let me show you some other lungs. All right, these are two lungs. Of, everything I have here was on my property. That lung there has blood literally coming out of here. This is the one right here. We took the blood out of here, drilled into a hole in a, where the reddest part of the red blood was. And I can show this in a microscope. It, it, this is what they call feldspar. Well, inside of this feldspar is lung. This is literally what they call pleura fascia. It's the tissue that coats the outside of the lung. Then inside the lung is here where you have the, all the alveoli, which are the little things that I showed you in this little tiny lung. All those little tiny holes that I showed you bleed out of them. And I mean they bled red blood, red wet blood. And these are the same little tiny holes that we're talking in the other ones. And every one of those little holes 
had wherever you see the little red spot, there was blood coming out of it. Same thing with this one. So it's time. I'm not just some jamoke off the street here guessing and, and, and playing games. And my stuff is DNA certified. That's the that's tested and DNA certified with PCR, very very high quality. It's six years ago, five six years ago. It's time to look at this for what it really is. You know, it's a little frustrating after this one on the time. All right, here's the edge of that lung that I showed you I have here. You see that? That's how these, they call these vugs. You see all these very clearly circular holes? Those are the alveoli holes. And when they drain of the blood, they fill with quartz, silica, and so forth. And that's what the Herkimer diamonds are. They're not really diamonds, they're, they're a, a, a quartz fill. Diamond is a little different, it's a carbon in a certain lattice. But anyway, this I am going to change the lighting so that we can see this much better. I did this so that you can see all of these little holes and so forth. Now, the light comes down now. Now you can see the different colors in the blood, the black and the red blood, and there's that little diamond, and this is all these little holes, and this is how it, it trans, transfers from the black to the red, just like I showed you in that little tiny lung. I'm going to bring the light up a little bit here, let's see. But this, it, it's all lung tissue. Let me drop down a little bit or up a little bit. Here, let me come right down on the surface. Well, not on the surface, but close enough to the... You see the holes in it? All, all those are... That's all lung. That's pretty bright. you got to really work with the, the light. And then you can see all of the different, you see the color and the tissue changes and the different colors. You really got to play around a lot. But you can see this is all wrapped with tissue. Here's that little diamondish looking thing. There's black and red and yellow. And that is the, the transition between breathing and, and not breathing. <laughs> Your oxygen has to invade the blood cells, and the blood cells have to respirate. They have to get rid of their carbon dioxide, and then they have to absorb straight oxygen. And that is this, this, this is the respiration process. Let me see, I'm going to tip it over. This is the outside. Let's see what this looks like. You see that? This is what I want to see from NASA. I want to be able to look down. You may not be able to see the colors. Maybe they can, maybe they can't. I don't know. I would imagine they can. If I can see them, I would hope they can. <laughs> but I can see, I know what I'm looking at. They won't have a clue. They'll look at that and say, oh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Well, it is because it's fascia. And these are the little what they call interstitial balls that hold the fascia around the lung so that it, it can move around and gush around but it comes back. They're all over the place, those little balls, and now they're looking at them all over there saying, oh, I wonder what those are. I've been reporting on those for 10 years. They're everywhere, those balls, you see? All right, enough of that. Now, Joe Biden, our new president, asked for that rock from NASA, and it is a moon rock, and I know what it is, it's a lung. I deserve to be part of this whole operation here. I don't have to be part of a university or part of NASA to participate in truth, I don't think, in the United States. And um, that's what I'm hoping, that I'll be contacted. Now, his wife is uh, in the educational institution. I believe that this is very, very educational. And, um, you know, I pay taxes and they're out there doing stuff that I think they need a little help with. And I expect to be contacted, that's all. It's been many years uh, and I've tried hundreds and hundreds of people and uh, not a single response. So I'm just hoping now that we have Joe Biden in the White House, let's see what happens. Thank you, everyone. And I hope for just truth and honesty. That's all I'm hoping for. I'm not just trying to start trouble.